you are watching the last lesson of this course. In this lesson, I will show you how to interface a matrix keypad with Arduino. Along with the keypad interfacing, you will also learn to use an external library. The first question is, what is matrix keypad? So matrix keypad is a special arrangement of the keys connected in a matrix. Then why you use it? Suppose if we connect a button with Arduino, one pin will be occupied. If we connect 12 buttons, then 12 pins will be occupied. Here comes the matrix keypad. In this formation, we can accommodate more keys with lesser number of pins. Let me give you an example. The example you see here is a standard calculator keypad. To interface it with Arduino, we need 8 pins, 4 for rows and 4 for columns. But the number of buttons or keystrokes we are getting is 16. So 16 key combinations with only 8 pins. That is the beauty and that's why matrix keypad is used in important devices. Let me show you how a keypad works. Here I have taken a 4 cross 3 matrix keypad for demonstrations. That means I have 4 rows named as R0, R1, R2, R3 and 3 columns C0, C1 and C2. Technically in each key press a particular row and column gets short. That is the matrix formation. Keeping that in mind, let me show you a table. This is how we will give voltages to the keypad. Let me elaborate the process in steps. First step, at first the pins which are connected to R0, R1, R2 and R3 should be configured as output. Second step, the column pins should be configured as inputs. Third step is make R0 as 0 and rest of the row pins 1. Then read C0, C1 and C2 respectively. Remember if the user presses 1 then R0 and C0 must be short. If C0 is 0 then key 1 is pressed. If C1 is 0 then key 2 is pressed and if C2 is 0 then key 3 is pressed. In four, step number 4, make R1 as 0 and rest of the row pins 1. Then read C0, C1 and C2 respectively. Remember if the user presses 4 then R1 and C0 must be short. If C0 is 0 then key 4 is pressed. If uh, C1 is 0, then key 5 is pressed. If C2 is 0, then key 6 is pressed. Similarly, in next step, make R2 as 0 and do the checking. And in next to that step, make R3 as 0 and check the columns. You will get which key is pressed. I think now you get the idea by which a keypad scanning method works. But you don't need to write the scanning method this way as there are so many libraries available in internet. You have already seen the library installation process with a keypad library by Mark Stanley. So the library is already downloaded and let's use that in this lesson. For a better learning of keypad, let's perform an experiment. The experiment's objective will be to interface a 4 cross 4 matrix keypad. My methodology will be uh, like uh, I'll press the keys and the keystrokes will be displayed on serial monitor. That's it. It's a simple experiment. For the experiment, I have to build the circuit. My connections will be, uh, I'll connect row pins at pin number 2, 3, 4 and 5 column pins at pin number 6, 7, 8, 9. That's it. Let's make the connections. 
For keypad, I have this 4 cross 4 matrix keypad. This is a simple keypad. Here, this A, B, C, D. Here, this A, B, C, D can be plus, minus, multiplication and division. As I have this, but plus, minus keypad is also available in market. These are the keypad pins. Look carefully, you will see 8 pins, 4 columns and 4 rows. Now as per my circuit, I have connected 8 jumper wires here. As per the circuit diagram you have seen, I will make the connections. Rows will go from pin number 2, then 3, let me connect 2 first, then 3, then 4, then 5. And the column pins will go from pin 6, 7, 8 and 9. Let me connect all the 8 pins. So I have finished connecting the wires. Let me recheck my pins. Yeah. It's properly done. Now we are ready to upload the code. First, let's open the program. For that, go to file, then examples, then find keypad in the list. Go to keypad, then open multi key. This is the code we will use. First, you can mention the number of rows here, then number of columns. Then you can edit or modify the formation. Default is phone keypad. Here, you can mention the pins which are connected to rows and columns. Rest of the program is full of library functions. So, we have nothing to do here. This example program is written to get the keystrokes. I have changed the pins here as per my connections. Let me upload the code and check. Yeah, done uploading. Let's open this serial monitor now. So here I'll press the keys. Now let me press 1. Yes, it is detecting 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, star hash it's perfectly working one thing i didn't change that is the formation as i am using four cross four keypad i should change it let's add a column in each line it's a then b then here it will be c then here it is D. Now I will again upload. Yeah, done uploading. I will reopen this serial monitor. Yeah, now let me press the keys. 1, 2, 3, then A. Then 4, 5, 6, B. Then 7, 8, 9, C. Star, 0, hash, D. Yeah, it's working. I request you to give review and feedbacks because uh, those are very important to me and this 
Arduino course. Thank you and thanks for participating in this course.